Today's creature of the day is the dire wolf, named so because they're dire or terrifying. Their scientific name is Aino Scion. Now, I probably know what you're thinking, you know, about these guys. I'll talk about them at the end of the video. Dire wolves lived from Canada down to Mexico, along with Venezuela, Peru, Bolivia, and Chile, also China. They lived between 250,000 years ago and 10,000 years ago, and grew up to 6 feet long, or over 175 centimeters long, 3 feet, or 95 centimeters tall, and weighing 175 pounds, or 79 kilograms. It had a larger head and teeth than modern gray wolves, with a bite force better for crushing bone, but with shorter limbs. It ate large megafauna like horses, bison, ground sloths, and camels, and like most wolves, hunted in large packs of up to 30 individuals. It had a smaller brain size than modern gray wolves, though. It went extinct due to climate change and humans hunting their main prey. It was first described by Joseph Lady in 1858 as a species of Canis until 2021 when it was described as its own genus, Anocyon. The only known species is Anocyon dirus. Now for media appearances. It's appeared in the PBS series Eons along with a horror movie titled Dire Wolf. Except as you can see from the poster, it's also called Dino Wolf. So yes, this movie was definitely uh, notoriously high budget. It's also appeared in the documentary Prehistoric Predators, along with Game of Thrones, although I'm not sure they're true direwolves, but just based off of the concept of direwolves. It also apparently appeared in the Odd Squad Animal movie, but I can't find a picture anywhere. You can find it in many games, like Dungeons and Dragons, or the Ark games, or Jurassic World Alive, but how could I do this video without mentioning the recently created dire wolves from colossal biosciences you've probably heard that dire wolves were brought back though not truly the new dire wolves aren't true dire wolves instead gene edited gray wolves though not true dire wolves i still subconsciously call them dire wolves these guys are stockier and larger than normal gray wolves with a stronger bite and teeth so they didn't exactly bring back the dire wolves but they got pretty darn close in fact just a few days ago was romulus and remus's birthday the two first dire wolves to be cloned well that's an extinct wolf that wasn't truly brought back but we got pretty close anyways be sure to like subscribe and comment what other creatures i should talk about